Hi guys, and welcome back for Caps Critics. I'm Ruby and I'm Lamia, and today we're gonna review The Substance. Yes, which yes. is a horror movie. It's a horror movie. I don't know how you agreed to go watch this one. You told me it wasn't that scary, and the I thing- didn't watch. I just watched the trailer, and I assumed that it wasn't that scary. Yeah, but the thing is, I you said that, and I went to the movies alone. But I watched it in the middle of the day, so mm. I was like, okay, at least yeah. there's that. <laughs> But I went there alone and I was like, Lemia said it's not scary, but Lemia also says it takes five minutes to get to a place walking when it's an hour away. Oh my God. By my standards, (laughs) this is not a horror movie. Honestly, it wasn't scary at all. It wasn't. I I think it would have been more, like, better categorized as a thriller. Yeah. But I think it's because there was a few gore scenes. It Mm. was horror, but it wasn't even that gore. Like, it wasn't criminal. It was just weird Mm -hmm. and uh yeah i i honestly enjoyed it i don't know what's happening to me i think you're changing me i don't know it's a beautiful genre you won't regret getting getting into it (laughs) yeah yeah so the substance you want to talk about the the premise so basically the substance is this exploration of rage of female rage and it stars margaret Kelly and Kali Quali. I don't know. I've always forgotten her name. Margaret Quali and Demi Moore. And it's about this star who's uh, played by Demi Moore. And she's she's just like struggling with her career when she hits 50 because her boss is trying to hire someone younger to take her spot. And so she starts thinking about all these different ways to like get younger and one day she just finds this magic solution called the substance and basically when you use this solution who's actually a solution yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when you use it you have this younger body and you basically have to switch between your old and young body every seven days and if you don't your old body starts losing more of its spark yeah it as starts the time goes. faster yeah. yeah yeah i think it's a lovely concept because i know it's categorized as horror but i think it's just basic truth i think mm. it was a whole cathartic thing of how especially women in the uh, entertainment industry are afraid of aging and the length you go like someone goes to to just yeah. stay young and how yes it might be a temporary solution but on the long term it could cause to like mm-hmm. just really um un uh, unchangeable uh effects so yeah. totally um and also uh, i i loved how they leaned into this whole thing of female rage because i was thinking about this this week i was thinking about because i love reading books about female rage and i'm thinking of uh, boy parts animal the piano teacher and etc but i can never find any movies about female rage and when i say female rage it's not about criminals nor horror it's just about women deciding not to be tamed and deciding to to not fit into certain standards and getting enraged by what's being yeah. what they're being told to do and we see that all the time with men they always they never accept those standards that are forced upon them but when it comes to women they like everything needs to be to be accepted i do agree with you to some extent i i think there was many parts in the movies where it was just like young sue who Mm -hmm. was played by margaret who's the young version of demi moore whose name is elizabeth spark who was in the movie so a lot of the times she was like we see her from the perspective of these older men yeah. and they're not struggling to stay young they're they're fine with their white hair and everything yeah. but this is where i disagree i feel like she was trying to fit into these standards she was trying to stay young and to stay relevant and this is where things start yeah, going exactly. but like what what i mean by that is that the rage itself doesn't have to be not accepting the things that enrage you but just leaning into it and and just being like well, you know what i want to be this young and so i'm gonna do everything like whatever it takes to 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 get what i want and to me this movie is not even that dystopian because like it's it's a movie about plastic surgery basically yeah. it's the equivalent of plastic surgery and i'm pretty sure if medicine ever the medical world ever comes up with something like the substance a lot of people would be 
trying it with with no doubts yeah yeah it's so scary though because one small mistake and it just turns into this whole irreversible thing and i'm talking yeah. about the time where um sue refused to like wanted to stay younger for longer and i think it's i also love that part because the whole time it was sue versus elizabeth but they were the same person and i feel like it was just elizabeth who wanted to stay younger for longer mm -hmm. even though it was gonna cost her older person body uh, it's just it's but um, isn't it a metaphor of what it's like to be a, a person how many times do you say to yourself okay you know what i'm gonna go out but i'm gonna get back at this time and then you go out and you're having fun and you're like no you know what i don't care about the future me who has to wake up tomorrow and deal with all the consequences of yeah. being out and you just abuse that freedom that 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 your future self gave you yeah <laughs> and so um it's basically the same sometimes you just like you don't feel like you're there for yourself or like you and yourself are like the same person i don't, I don't know if it makes sense but yeah it's just totally i think it makes total sense because that is the picture and i don't mm. think there was a margaret or uh, an elizabeth or a sue yeah. i think it was just elizabeth who just wanted to be sue for longer and yeah yeah and also i love how by the end the beauty standard became demi more because because when once she turned into this very old lady spoiler alert uh into this monster basically she, she she wanted to go back into her old self yeah and it's 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 crazy and also when there was this scene of her walking next to people and people didn't even notice that she looked like a monster so that just goes to show that most of these things are in our heads and yeah. even like for us as an audience like to me like Demi Moore is gorgeous mm -hmm. she's I mean she was she was married to Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> Not just that. I mean, even at the beginning of the movie, I was kind of disappointed that they chose yeah. her as the person who wanted to get younger. Mm -hmm. But then I understood that it was just like a satire. Like she, she was doing perfectly fine. It's just yeah. in her head. She exactly. Couldn't see it. Yeah. And yeah, it's insane. Yeah. I want to, I want, it just reminded me of a Ghibli movie. Remember last mm -hmm. year we watched The Boy and the Aaron? Yeah. The same company did another movie that I love. It's called Howl's Moving Castle. And it's just the graphics towards the end of the movie when she became this really old lady. It was almost the same as this cartoon. And I was so impressed that they were able to deliver that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think it was possible to deliver such scenes in real, like in real life. And just to summarize, it, it's basically a movie about a girl who someone like, like a witch throws a curse on her who, who, when she was very young and she tells her that she's gonna be old until she finds her true self mm -hmm. and during the whole movie was this old lady just fighting to like not fighting but trying to go back to her youth so i think it was pretty much a, i don't know i just saw a lot of resemblance i love that, that. <laughs> yeah i'll check it out yeah it's it's a great movie and it's mm -hmm. uh, beautiful for this kind of weather yeah yeah <laughs> What else didn't we talk about? Um, Margaret Kelly was amazing. I love her ever since. We, I always talk about her Kenzo commercial. To me, like it's the greatest thing ever, like in the history of commercials. <laughs> what commercial? The Kenzo commercial that we studied. It's we literally studied that in business school. Yeah. Um, it's the one that was made by Spielberg, I think. I think and you it's, shared it's that with perfume me. commercial yeah. and she was in it and it's it's amazing it's the best thing ever and i love how she's getting more recognition i mean she she wasn't like a lot of stuff like she was in once upon a time in hollywood right um, yeah she was with brad pitt in, yeah she was in kinds of kindness kinds of kindness yeah. and yeah i love how her career is flourishing right now i love this movie i loved her in this movie she, she was she was beautiful she was gorgeous mm -hmm. in every way and her like something really interesting th that i found interesting in this movie both actresses they didn't have that many lines it was just vibes <laughs> yes really <laughs> a lot good. of cool music very flashy a lot of pink a lot of yellow and that's it that's yes. it and it was enough to portray anger like because to me it's 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 totally about anger yeah because it is an individual fight the thing yeah. that they're fighting there it's just there a lot of the times they're just alone in their house mm -hmm. so yeah there wasn't a lot of dialogue and it just comes to show how great of actresses they both are to be able to show so yeah. much emotion with 
without like translating it into words it was great and also there was such a beautiful chemistry between them yeah like to me it was totally believable that they're both the same person yeah and um i didn't mind the nudity i wanted to talk about because we talked about that last yeah. week about how it's useless but I, I don't think it... I think it's very important to have yeah. nudity in this movie because it was there to make... to serve a point. And, yeah, it was beautifully shown because the director... Probably because the director is a woman. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I feel like it was import- important in the script because it is about, yeah. like, how she's aging and not just her face, but her body and everything. So, yeah, I think it was justified in this movie. Yeah, and it was, like, didn't they didn't show both actresses naked in a perverted way. Yeah. It was to serve the purpose of the story. And, yes, they could have worn underwears, but, like, it, it was to show how perfect both of them are just <laughs> the way they are. Yes. <laughs> And yeah, but you know, like, um, I went to see this movie with a friend and it's crazy because like we had two different experiences. She hated the movie. She was like, what is this? This is very childish and it's very almost por- pornographic. And it wasn't. And, and um, what? It wasn't. It wasn't. Like to no. me, it's, it's, it's redefining a lot of stuff and it's creating a conversation and it's, it's, it's a beautiful movie. It's a movie for made by a woman obviously and it's for everyone i think it's mainly for women to show them like how stressing over age could actually have more effect than just aging and yeah i don't know it comes to show that you know when you're young you have that like time because in the movie sue was mad about only having seven days of being young and Mm -hmm. you know it for me the way like the message i took out of it is you know we're not always young we like Sue yeah. had only seven days. Like, not everybody has as much time. So might as well make the most of when we're young and when we're aging. Also still make the most of it. Because, yeah, I mean, Elizabeth, I love the scene where she called the guy to go out on a date. And he mm. was so happy and he yeah. was so shocked that he could go out with Elizabeth. And for her, she was, it felt like it just, she she was surprised that he was so happy yeah. to go out with her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, I know we talked last week about, you were saying something about how you loved the fact that um, younger, Florence Pugh was uh, playing uh, an older lady. But I loved the fact that in this movie, um, someone who was supposed to portray youth is in her 30s. Because Margaret Cully is 31. She is. She is. I would have given her 24 in that movie. I would have given her 19 years old. Yeah. She was very young. But she is in her 30s. And I also love that. Life starts at 40, guys. Yeah. <laughs> there is a third glow up of puberty. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're patiently waiting for We're it. waiting. <laughs> also, I love the use of Pump It Up, the song in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I also like as we talked about like the news I love the zoom ins as well and how yeah. often they zoomed in and I don't know it just it also felt like a commercial when they were filming Sue doing mm-hmm. Bump It Up yeah it's just uh, it had such a big 80s vibes yes yeah. exactly the ending however I felt like was too long like mm-hmm. I just it was tiring to just look at all of these effects and images. <laughs> but I think it, they were necessary to get the ending of the movie. Because with this kind of movie, you cannot just have a regular, quiet ending. You need like something to just mm-hmm. finish it all. And I loved how it was just Demi Moore's face on her uh, Hollywood star uh, on the Hall of Fame. Yeah. And it just melted. And then the next day, someone just wiped it out. And it's just it comes to show how... I don't know how fast life goes, but I don't know. Like, yeah. she, she was a person, and then she became a face, and then she became a substance, and then somebody just wiped it off, and that mm-hmm. was it. It was... Yeah. Also, speaking of that last scene, I, I, I found it very interesting that the only people trying to kill the monster were the men. Yeah, And true. how women were were literally disgusted by... Yeah. ...by, by the monster, and it's funny how the monster was telling them that it's Demi Moore, I mean, Demi Moore's character and that it didn't change anything and it was still her, but like everyone didn't want to be around her. Yeah. I it's... think it, 
A very original way to make a point. Yeah, to make fun of Hollywood, kind of. It's, Mm -hmm. I don't know, it was a bit scary. After watching it, I don't know, I feel like it would make people question why Mm -hmm. they would want to, I don't know. It put fame into perspective for me. Yeah. Yeah. True. So, yeah. The substance. I'm glad you watched it. (laughs) I I, I actually, I'm glad I did. Mm -hmm. I I didn't think I was going to like it, but here I am. (laughs) <laughs> um, yeah, loved it. We're making progress. We're making progress. <laughs> next time, the terrifier. She's, wa- no, she's watching next year's terrifier for sure. Ye, we'll see about it. maybe in two years. <laughs> no, next year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have I have a lot of training though. <laughs> yeah, we have time. <laughs> it's coming out ne- on next Halloween. Okay, so we still have time. No promises, but <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Go check it out and let us know. Let us know what you think. Yes, and don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.